Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is all about smoothies. I'm gonna give you lots of tips on how to make awesome smoothies and also show you some of my favorite smoothie recipes. I've teamed up once again with iHerb for this video. They're my favorite online health food store. So many great products and great prices, so definitely check them out if you haven't. Smoothies are a delicious way to consume lots of fruits and veggies, and they're the perfect way to start your day. So a tip for making awesome smoothies is to always be prepared. I love making ice cubes out of coconut water or whatever liquid base I'm using. Then that way you don't have to water down your smoothie with regular ice cubes. I also make sure I always have frozen bananas on hand because they give smoothies a really nice creamy texture and they'll sweeten it up as well. I freeze my bananas once they have brown spots on them because the spottier they are, the sweeter they are. So the way I create my smoothies is to first start off with a liquid. This can be coconut water, nut milk, good old filtered water, whatever you want. And then I add my greens because smoothies are an excellent way to get your greens. I myself really like using baby kale and spinach. Then you can add whatever other veggies you want and a little bit of fruit too to sweeten it up. I personally like to add frozen fruit because it cools the smoothie down and it makes it thicker and creamier. And of course, majul dates are awesome to add into smoothies for a bit of fiber and sweetness. And then I add my extras to really boost up the nutritional benefits. Hemp seeds are awesome in smoothies because they give it a really creamy texture and they also contain lots of fiber, protein, and good fats. I always try to add a bit of fat into my green smoothies because it helps with the absorption of fat soluble vitamins in the greens. Chia seeds are also a great way to add in some fiber, protein, and good fats. Plus the chia seeds will thicken up your smoothies. I like to make chia seed gel ahead of time. I just take two tablespoons of chia seeds and add that to one cup of water, stir it up, and let it sit for a few hours or overnight. And then it's ready to go and you can just add that into your smoothies. And I always add in my Chloroxygen Chlorophyll Supplement into my green smoothies because it doesn't taste like anything and it gives you a nice energy boost. And a high quality protein powder is really nice to add into smoothies, especially if you're working out a lot. I'm currently using the Sun Warrior Classic Protein Powder in vanilla, and I like it because it's sprouted and fermented for easy digestion. So now I'm going to show you a few of my go-to smoothie recipes. So this first smoothie I'm going to show you is one of my favorites. It's just a simple spinach and banana smoothie. So all you need to do is add in the following ingredients into your high speed blender. One and a half cups of coconut water, two cups or two handfuls of spinach, one large frozen bananas or two small frozen bananas, four coconut water ice cubes, one tablespoon of hemp seeds, and a dropper full of Chloroxygen. Then you're just going to blend that up and enjoy. This one is so delicious and I think even people who don't like greens will love it. Next up, I have another green smoothie and this one is the ultimate green smoothie. So all you need to do is add the following ingredients into your blender, one and a half cups to two cups of water. I usually start with one and a half cups and then add more if I need it later. A big handful of baby kale or whatever leafy greens you want, half of a cucumber, one piece of celery, one Granny Smith apple, just a nub of ginger, half a cup of frozen pineapple, and add some more of that chloroxid and a bit of hemp oil, but that's optional. Then you just blend it up and you have the perfect green smoothie. It's so refreshing and jam-packed full of nutrients, definitely one of my favorites. And finally, we have a yummy rose water cardamom and banana smoothie. This one is like a dessert smoothie. Just blend up one to one and a half cups of coconut water or coconut milk or almond milk, whatever you prefer. One to two frozen bananas, two dates, one to two teaspoons of rose water, a quarter of a teaspoon of cardamom, one tablespoon of vanilla protein powder, a dollop of chia gel, and four coconut water ice cubes. And then just blend away and you are left with an absolutely delicious smoothie. Rose water and cardamom are two of my favorite flavors, so I really think this one's awesome. But do you know what's even more awesome? Making this smoothie into a banana ice cream. All you need to do is omit the liquid and add in another frozen banana. I actually prefer the ice cream version, but since this is a 
smoothie video, I thought I'd show you the smoothie version too. Now a couple more tips. You want to make sure that you're chewing your smoothie as you drink it. This may seem weird, but it's going to help with the digestion process and allow you to get maximum benefits from the smoothie. And a tip if you have a bit of the smoothie left over, just put the leftovers in an ice cube tray and freeze it, and then use them next time you have a smoothie. That way nothing goes to waste. So I hope you guys enjoyed this smoothie video. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye!